Our Tejano Moment series continues this morning. This time we learn about the first governors of the state. Eric Hernandez also tells us more about how these Tejanos shaped and developed Texas. Between 1688 and 1836, Texas had many Spanish or Mexican governors who we might not hear about in our history books because this was before Texas actually established the office of governor. I think it's important that we, we, we communicate that uh, they're here to govern New Spain's new royal province. Uh, they need to install governors um, to bring law and order, of course, colonization, uh, Christianization. The first man New Spain chose to take on a leadership role was General Alonso de Leon, who led the first expeditions into the Texas area and also established some of the first presidios and missions. He's not formally the first uh, governor, if you will, but he's certainly the first the governmental entity that begins to clear the path for, in fact, the first governor. And that first official governor was General Domingo Terán de los Rios. Other governors of note were General Martín de Alarcón, who founded San Antonio. And that is when the Spanish governor's palace comes into play. The first governor to actually live inside was Governor Juan Maria Bencil. He deploys to San Antonio and specifically ends up here. And so he's one of the first governors that uh, begins to live in this colonial beautiful dwelling and brings his headquarters here. Uh, and for the first time, this begins to be understood as the Spanish governor's palace. It would be until 1836 that Mexican governors would rule over Texas as a Republic of Texas was then created. But their significance to Tejano history is of great importance to the state. They helped develop the, the culture and society uh, that's, you know, that's far beyond just a frontier society. They are really some of the, uh, the governance that helps develop the American Southwest. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.